Hello and welcome. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Factory Simo with Stijo. Happy hey. Ben. Been alright. That's good. Been alright. Try to find a way that I can. Try to find a good icon for this. Oh, fuck it, can just be a train station. <laughs> a train as well. I started using uh, the numbers, the symbols for numbering, for, for like special blueprints. I've got blueprint, uh, I don't know where it went. I had one at one point, it was blueprint symbol zero or A or something, you know? Okay. You could organize them by importance, if you really wanted to. Yeah. Uh, I need a station. See, I think... Okay, the more I think about it, I'm thinking that it would make more sense to just make... Um, actually make copper coil in a uh, beaconified production chain and then just bust the coil. I know it's coil and that sounds crazy, but... This, this setup is so squirrely just to, to try to make this work, and it's not moduled as much as it could be. Yeah. I don't think that that's... ever gonna get used, but whatever. There we go. Right, and... That, that, um... <laughs> okay. Let's remove all of that. Oh my god, Stijo. What's up? Never mind. I thought that our I thought our second service could only pick up two items at a time, but it turns out that's because these things don't produce very fast with uh, lots of productivity munches in them. Oh, it suck. Okay, energy consumption's up by three hundred ten percent. Productivity's only up by sixteen percent. That's not very good. Need better productivity modules. That took me way longer than I want to admit, but um. It's going to be more efficient with the components that we have, so that's decent. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and bust copper coil. Okay. Just gonna have to go ahead and do it. Yep. <laughs> yep. Do what you like. Uh, sure, whatever. I think we're gonna have to use a braid to really make this thing go nuts. Seems to be the case. Yeah. I was supposed to come up there and help you, but I forgot. 
That's okay. I don't know that this can actually be done well with belts. I think it might make a whole lot more sense just to not even try and go with robots instead. No! I mean, <sighs> stack That's inserters! Cheaters! Way of doing it. Yeah, but, like, y you actually only have room for one layer of belts on either side of the assembly machines if you want to have beacons on both sides, because the beacon's aura, or area of effect, is just not large enough. Well, you make it work. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. All right, let's try. We'll try. But if I get really annoyed, I'm going to quit. Okay. I want to make, like, a blueprint book full of different balancers so that I can use them properly instead of just always using the 8 to 8 and then, like, having to use certain numbers of inputs. Because yeah. the 8 to 8 doesn't balance if you're not using it properly. Mm-hmm. Well, if you just throw in some hack splitters, though, you should be fine. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't <laughs> lane balance properly. But hack splitters are awesome, I hear. <laughs> they are, but it doesn't quite work like that. I think, you know the four lane balancer? I think that does need two, two splitters on the end of it. Yeah, it does. It needs to look like that. Oh! What a plastic. I know that's... That's wrong. Just to... I'm sure it needs to be like that. I'm sure that's how it works. That, split, split. There is very little plastic. Why? Are we out of oil? I, d I don't know. No, there's plenty, I doubt of, it. plenty of petroleum. It looks like a uh, plastic making factory building is just not making enough. Uh, yeah, we just need more. We we've ramped up production without actually increasing the amount available. I think that's right. Whatever. It's probably wrong. People will probably tell me it's wrong. Okay, now I need to find some more iron to actually hook up. Some stone up there, a little bit of iron there. A load of iron down there. Seems like I'm going to have to go all the way down there. Oh, aliens! Aliens? What? I've never heard of such a thing. <laughs> I know. Ugh, that's so far away from the existing train network though. Oh, I could come up here. Yeah, let's do that. Doot, doot. Oh, it actually says inside factory, whatever the fucking name it was. Where does it say that's that? Cool. Oh, um, shoot. When it was like, uh, you needed... CJ, we need to get a mod. I can get what? it right away, as soon as we, uh, we're done with this what episode. I've been playing with a mod on my Bob's Mods campaign that's just freaking amazing. It's called Squeak Through. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's just amazing. You get so used to it. You can, like, walk between everything, and it's just, you know... All the irritation of getting stuck up on stuff goes away. Where the fuck is wood? That's the first time I've actually had to be like, no, take the wood out of my inventory. Okay. 
Gotta admit, it's pretty nice having at least one, uh... One legs on me. Can we make the, the better armor, by the way, yet? Yeah, I just gotta get those modules built up. I was gonna say, probably. You are so bad at putting lights everywhere. Yes. You're horrible at it, Stijo. <laughs> I find it funny that she just realized. Come to me, Farl. I think Farl still has, like, yellow belt and stuff on it. Probably. I, I highly doubt we've ever upgraded it. Uh, it's probably not the best, to be honest. Seem to be having some power issues right now. Ooh, that's fun. Probably because I'm trying to use beacons now, which is going to drive up power usage by quite a bit. Beacons are already at 11 megawatts, and it's going to get higher because I'm not going to stop, see Joe. Yay! It's all about that productivity. Yeah. Fail to create track. Why? I'm gonna go and try to solve some of the power issue by. Uh, uh oh. I what? seem to have made a mistake. <laughs> you made a mistake? Never. I know. Um. Anyway, I'm gonna go put efficiency ones in all the electric mining drills or all the smelting area right now. Okay. That should help a little bit. But not gonna be enough. Mm. It's never enough. Okay. I do like the fact that we are finally starting to make a little bit of production happen, you know? <laughs> Yay, production! I'm getting there. I'm gonna go work on this plastic issue again. I, I increased the amount of plastic that we're making, but now I'm gonna try out putting some beacons inside that factory building. I gotta admit, one thing that is really nice about coming back to vanilla after having played a bunch of bobs is that uh, the inventory and the amount of items that you can make is so much less. Mm, yeah. Like, like our inventory is, I think it's actually bigger than in Bob's mods because uh, Bob's has gated technology, like gated the increased inventory size behind research. You gotta get pretty far into the game before you actually have more. Yeah. We are actually out of petroleum now. Wow. Just need more production. Mm-hmm. Well, fire in some more production. Just that you might need to um, stick the 
uh, what they called. Wait, 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 what's what's the issue? Is it too much petroleum or no not petroleum? Enough, uh, not enough petroleum. Uh, too much. Sorry, too much of the other stuff, or just not enough production. Not enough petroleum. I, I haven't actually walked by it yet. Oh, okay. All I can tell you is there's not enough petroleum. Need more petroleum. I don't think we need any more oil at the moment. No, we've been pretty good on oil for quite a long time. Yeah. God, the wood that I've got right now. That sounds pretty bad. <clears throat> Look at that, that's kind of funny. I just got a shit all. No, stop. <laughs> I, uh, I placed down an iron chest, uh, filled it with wood, and then shot it. And then mm. my robots placed down another one instantly, so I shot that one as well. Good job. I didn't mean it. Oh shit, no, don't do that. <laughs> We have a lot of furnaces, don't we? Yes, we do. Certainly feels that way. Right. Well, that was wrong. We are out of iron ore right now. I'm fixing it. There's still a lot of iron up there. We just need more, apparently. Yeah. Well, we're finally uh, making a factory that's not... Crap. It's not slow. Interesting. Interesting concept you have there. Uh, iron 3. Oh, we're getting another, what's that? Five million ore. It's the, uh... It's not bad. That's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Great. I have a grand total of nine outputs from this thing. Alright, so eventually these robots should come in here and fix all this now. Get all these things modeled up. The ambient music in Factorio is really ominous. Yes. Wah, 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 wah. It's like fucking hell, man. Especially that creepy Chill stuff. Out. I know we're making belts somewhere, right? Like all the different types of belt? Yes, it's in a factory. Yeah, there they are. Doesn't seem like we're making very many. 
He is out of lubricant. That's why. That's like an we issue. Are, uh, still having some oil issues then. I need. Uh... I need more belt. But it's that time again. Okay. Well, fine. Was it me? No, I think yeah. this one was me. I'm not mistaken. Alright, we'll be back then. Same time, same place tomorrow. As always, thank you for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.